Hey everyone, we're going to learn how to use the A to B feature. With A to B, you can add a whole new level of customization and dynamism to your Powtoons with just a few clicks. In the next few minutes, we'll cover the basics of how to use the A to B feature to show a change in any object's location, size, or orientation. And stay tuned at the end for a how to use A to B to create some advanced animation effects. Let's begin! Here's Lisa, our teacher, in her classroom. She's on the left side of the stage, and we'd like to move her to the chalkboard. First, we'll click her character to select it. Next, we'll click Settings to display the Settings menu and choose A to B. And look what just happened. Lisa's character has been duplicated. Here's the original character, and here's the duplicate. If you need to turn A to B off, just click this button here. We'll keep it on for now. So we want Lisa to move from point A to point B. Let's grab the duplicated character with my mouse and drag it to where I want Lisa to move. You'll notice that there's a circle indicating where the movement begins and a triangle indicating where the movement ends. Okay, now let's see how this looks. I'll hit the play slide button and... Awesome, right? Um, one small problem though. Now that Lisa's character is standing by the blackboard, she's too big! We need to scale her down a bit. How do we do this? Why, with A to B, of course. We just need to do a small edit and resize Lisa so she's in proportion to where she's standing. Let's see how the scene plays now. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Let's kick it up a notch and learn how to move an object and rotate it at the same time. We'll use a soccer ball to demonstrate. The beginning steps are the same as we've already learned. Select your object and choose A to B. To add the rotation effect, we'll grab the handle of the duplicate object and rotate it to whatever degree we want. You can rotate up to 360 degrees, and that's what we'll do now. And there you have it, our soccer ball spinning in the air. Nice kick, bro. Now it's time to get advanced. We're going to use A to B to simulate a scrolling effect. This is key for representing a website or social feed in your Powtoons. You'll need to begin with an image of the website you want to show scrolling. Now we'll enlarge the image and position it in the center. On the image, we'll click Settings and bring up the Settings menu, and click A to B. We'll grab the duplicate image and position it so it completely covers the original image with its border at the bottom of the screen. And voila! We've just simulated a scrolling effect. And that's the basics of how to use the A to B feature. I can't wait to see how you use it to bring your Powtoons to life. For more information, please visit our Help Center, where you'll find in-depth articles on everything covered in this tutorial. And as always, remember to make it awesome.